Hey, what's up folks? It's AK, and we are on a new server right now. It's called Cubaholics, and you, what you're looking at right now is me basically in the spawn town as it stands. I think this is a very new server. Uh, it's only whitelisted for just a few people, and there's some really cool things going on though. Um, it is an 18 and over server, which is nice. Um, I'll probably still be the oldest person, but at least I won't be like the, you know, the grandpa on the server sort of a thing. Um, and otherwise, uh, it's pretty much straight up vanilla. Uh, we're running snapshots and we have an expanding world border, which is kind of cool. I'm looking forward to it. And the reason why is because I think it's going to force all of us to kind of work together a bit as more of a community. Um, obviously, some folks have a little community farm going. I'm just going to borrow a little wheat here to get started. Um, and then here's my plan. My plan is I'd like to see what's on the edges of the world border. Um, see if I can find a cool place maybe to build a little house not too far from spawn um, But also keep an eye on what's up and coming, you know um, <laughs> That's a lot of chickens um, Anyways, so um, I'm gonna look around. It looks like someone's got a sky build going here um, just, It looks like someone's got a cactus wall um, and some small houses. So yeah, I'm going to take a look around, do some caving, get some resources, see if I can find a place where I want to build a first house, and basically just kind of see like what else is on the server. Um, and then hopefully we'll make contact with some people and have some adventures, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Hey there, folks. It's AK, and I'm back. Back on Cubaholics, and I've done a little adventuring around, and of course, as you've seen, and I'm now looking for a place to live, and whoa, things have been happening since I was on a few days ago, that's for sure, just been busy, but um, yeah, progress is obviously being made. So I have found a little hillside that I really like, I really like, and let me show you around it. Basically, there's a view of this castle, which is going to be really cool, I'm sure. It's not far at all from town, there's town. And basically, when you're here, I have, I have the classic dirt house right now. I just dug in last night as a place. Um, but there's some trees around. I'm right on the verge of a desert to that direction, which is really cool. And I have ocean over there. So um, what I have found in other um, worlds that I have played on is that usually sand ends up being kind of a finite resource. And so I don't think I'm going to have that issue here, which I'm really excited about. So basically, um, I'm just getting my house established. I'm going to go knock down a couple more trees. I'm going to go dig some sand and get some glass going. Um, I'm going to build a little house, and I'll update you with some progress. Okay. Hey there, folks. Time for a uh, quick update. I've made some progress on my house. And um, at first, it was really wonky, and it's still wonky in a couple ways. I need to uh, replace those with the stairs. I need to get some glass in here. Um, but all in all, I'm really liking it. It's a big improvement from my little dirt hut of a couple nights ago. So basically, I'm going to um, you know, clean all this up. Um, that's the hole that goes into a mine that I've not even started to explore in the slightest. Um, but you know, we'll see what happens with it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'll put a little door in here and have a diving board so I can just easily get to the water, um, which will definitely be my fastest way back into town. Um, once I can, uh, especially once I get some depth strider boots. So, oh, I see creepers everywhere. So, um, just thinking maybe the b best way to town might be across the water. Not sure, because I'm still kind of finding my way around here. Um, but hey, let's try it, right? Why not? What have I got to lose besides hearts and gear and everything? <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, so um, basically I'm headed into town. Um, I've been on the chat, whoa, been on the chat a little bit with a couple of the folks that are on here. And um, I would say some of the guys, but I don't know how many are guys and how many are, are women, so I'm going to have to find out. Um, but anyways, somebody was just talking about doing a bunch of enchanting and, um, you know, things like, hey, looting three good? And I was like, yeah, looting three is awesome. Um so, uh, anyways, they were like, yeah, since ever since we got the skelly spawner all set up, I was like, whoa, whoa, what? We have a skelly spawner? I was like, that's great to know. Is it public? And they were like, oh, yeah, it's totally public. Come on, I'll show you. And I was like, oh, sweet. So, um, 
animals move to pens behind storage and enchant rooms. Okay, there's Steve. Is it Steven out? Who's going to show me to the... Okay, cool. So... He was going to show me to where the uh, skelly spawner was. And, um... Any toll roots? No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, man. No idea. I'm so new. The other day when I was on, I asked people, you know, hey, do we have any kind of things that I should know, you know? And it was pretty much like, no, build what you want. Do what you, you know, build where you want. Do what you want. And, um, okay, good. It's all open. I like water drops. Boink. Nice. Cool. Wait for it. Probably going to pop right in there or something. So we'll see what kind of um, setup, you know, there is. There could be a... There could be an auto whacker, uh, you know, some kind of grinder. Um, it looks like there might be, but maybe it's just a big old drop, and it just maybe takes them down to one. I don't know. We'll have to see what we what we come into. But unenchanted. Okay, yeah. So that's stuff from the. Oh yeah, it's all stuff from the dropper. Cool. Let me ask him. Just a drop grind. Or any kind of mechanism. Drop. Cool. Cool. So that's, this is good to know. This is good stuff. Man, that's... It's got some good stuff. Actually, um... Well, eh, projectile four, not a biggie. That's all projectile. Yeah. Lots of lots of... That's better than no bow. I'll grab that one. Just need some arrows and... Oh, there's a power two. That's even better. That's a power three. That's even better. Power and unbreaking. Nice. Ooh, punch and unbreaking. Have to uh, level up and get some stuff going. So anyways, so here's this room, folks. Nice little water drop. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hey there, folks. Uh, just another quick update on the house. Uh, it's coming along. It's pretty boring. Um, <laughs> now that I have it built, I'm like, uh, it's pretty flat and boring. I don't have a roof yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the roof. If I'm going to go for some kind of peaked look. It's such a rectangular, glass-filled square house. It feels like it's a little more modern. Um, you know, a little more modern than traditional. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how to finish it off. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still looking for ideas on this one. So I'll probably do flat style roof. Um, but I think a peaked, I don't know. I think a peaked roof could look good. It's just it's so modern at the moment just because it's a big rectangle. So we'll see. Anyways, been having a lot of fun with the monster tree hack uh, or whatever you want to call it. Um, monster tree growing method. Uh, I think which I think is just in the newest snapshots. But um grown these three gigantic oak trees and I just I don't have the heart to cut them down because I love them so I'm gonna cut down my smaller ones for wood but um, just think it's great I just I love I love the giant trees I think they're the coolest thing so anywho there's that and basically the house you know the house is pretty like I said it's pretty boring at the moment haven't done anything with it just uh, you know just did the upstairs just did the downstairs and basically, I got the idea when I was line it when I was doing it, just to kind of like line it in the um, oak, and then 
do the detail, like the floor and such in birch, you know, just to get a roof over my head for now. And I guess I have half of a roof over my head, but um, haven't really done any caving, haven't really done much exploring um, other than being shown where the skelly spawner was. So um, I also was in a conversation earlier um, when I was at the skelly spawner, and I don't think this was on video. So um, we do have a village nearby. And last I checked, nothing was being done as far as villager trades weren't being, um, you know, set up. There's not an iron farm set up, you know, things like that. So I mentioned the idea of iron farm and some people were like, oh, that'd be cool. And other people were like, oh, I got to make sure it doesn't lag the server. So I need to find out how much memory is available on the server. And if people want to do an iron farm, if that's a good idea, um, with this slowly expanding world border, I have a feeling we might run out of some of those underground resources, but at the same time, you know, how much iron do you really need, you know, unless we start getting into things like beacons and, you know, all that sort of a thing. So anyways, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, so far, I have a roof. Yay, I have a roof over my head and some walls, and that feels really good. Um, feels really good to get at least that much. So um, I'll keep working the next time, and then probably need to go do a bunch of caving because I think I only have the the four diamonds that I have originally. I guess I'm in, I am in um, iron gear. I think I saw some enchanting tables in town. I think I did actually, not at the skelly spawner, but I think I saw someone somewhere else. Some I saw one somewhere else. So I'll probably have to go enchant up my gear and then, yeah, I don't know. See if people want to do some builds, do some adventures. I'm still so new here that I don't know anybody. I don't know what their preferences and likes and things are. Do people want to go caving? Do people want to just get left alone and build? Um, I don't know. It, but it does seem like a really cool group, which is nice. Um, it, it really does seem like a nice group of people. So I'm curious to see what kind of things they're into and you know where this ends up going. But for now, at least, I have a house. I have a house. I have a house. And I like the location. When that castle gets completed, or maybe it's completed now, I don't know. I kind of doubt it because I see that big uh, pillar of dirt up there. But as that gets completed, I think that's a totally cool view. I love all the flowers around here, the water, the fact that I'm close to the ocean and the desert on that side. I I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. So uh, for now, I think we'll go ahead and sign off, and I'll figure out some kind of roof, and I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.